Julia Neff and her family are heading back to New York after spending Christmas with her sister in Wilmington. She's glad there are more flights into ILM from the Northeast. We've always kind of struggled with only being able to have one flight out in New York. Um, and it's great this time we actually flew through Philadelphia because it was $800 cheaper to do so. So to have so many more flights with them coming from Philadelphia and other places in our tri-state area, um, then that's been wonderful. And with 13 to 14,000 passengers this holiday season alone, Deputy Airport Director Gary Broughton says they're on track to set a record. Right now we're tracking up about 7%, so we're looking forward to that. Um, American Airlines, of course, has helped a great deal by adding that Dallas flight during the holiday period. And more flight choices are planned for next year. United Airlines will begin two flights daily back and forth to both Chicago O'Hare and Washington, D.C. American Airlines will also offer weekend flights to Dallas, Texas. It also gives us three of the top four airlines in the country, not only business but leisure travel, and it opens up a, a lot of connections out of both of those cities, and of course both are international gateways. Broughton says there's a 60 to 80 million dollar airport expansion plan in the works. The gate area will increase, we'll go up to 10 gates, um, new ticket counter spaces, uh, baggage claim area, uh, refurbishments. All welcome news to passengers like Neff. It's just very easy for travelers to come in and out versus the New York City airports where we feel like you kind of have to gear yourself up. And even with all the upgrades that are planned for the future, Braun says they still hope to keep the same hometown feel that so many families have come to love through the years. In Wilmington, I'm Brandon Shope for Spectrum News.